you can at the same y'all don't like this kind of talk right here every now and then you got to lean back to remember how far he's already brought you and kick forward to see how far he's about to take you and it will take your swing higher and is there anybody here that is imagining new possibilities for your life you are not always going to be broke Help me prophesy to about 12 people around you and tell them you ain't going to be broke forever. You ain't going to be broke forever. As a matter of fact, tell them before the end of this year, God's going to turn your finances around. Before you get out of 2016, God's going to do something with your finances. You've been in this situation and you've gotten used to it, but God's about to turn it around. Do you, do you believe what I'm saying to you tonight? God's about to turn it all the way around. You got to imagine, you got to imagine, you got to imagine, you got to imagine. You got to imagine. You got to imagine. It's not a city bus you riding, it's a chauffeured limousine. You got to get on it. Y'all don't like that kind of talk. You got every now and then you got to go down to the car dealership where you can't even, you know you can't afford the car. You know you don't have the credit score. You don't have the down payment, but you ought to test drive some cars. You ought to make them let you drive three or four of them. And you ought to adjust the seats and the mirrors, put the radio station on the station you like, drive it around like you already own it. Every now and then you ought to drive through subdivisions where you know you can't afford the house. You ought to just drive around and imagine yourself pulling up in the driveway and hitting the button and the garage door opening up and you going, you know why? Because you'll never ascend beyond the level of your imagination. And what God is trying to tell somebody today is that if you can think it, I can give it to you. Because he's able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all we can ask or think according to the power in us. Do you believe it? Say yeah. Say yeah. Say yeah. Um, um, don't, don't, don't worry about your neighbor. They just started imagining themselves in another place. Some folk only languish in doing what is necessary in trivial mundane trivialities and workaday worlds and repeating the same mind-numbing cycles and patterns and, and, and some have grown comfortable only attempting that which is possible. But when you begin to imagine, you, you begin to see that God can do much more than what you've seen him do in your life. Some people get stuck because they can only reproduce what they've seen done before. But when you imagine, you can see yourself doing what nobody has ever done before. Some of y'all need to be the prototype the first. You need, to be, you need to be the model for everybody else. You do realize that before one man broke the four-minute mile, it, it was said that it was physiologically impossible for any human being to run a mile in less than one minute. But the same year that the first man broke the one four-minute mile, six other men broke the four-minute mile. You know why? Because they lifted the ceiling off of it and let everybody know that you can do it because I have to. Will you touch something? somebody around you and tell them if it has been done it can be done y'all didn't say it like I said it grab a neighbor by the hand and say neighbor a neighbor if it has been done it can be done and if God be for you he might make you the first one to do it God's about to show you that there's a crowd people behind you waiting on you to do it and the minute you do it there's going to open up the floodgates and let hundreds of people come through because you demonstrated that if God is on your side it can be done lift your voice to heaven and shout I can do it imagine you got to imagine new possibilities. This year is going to be a year 